If you are not that familiar with solar panels, this video is for you. My name is Tanya and in this video we'll cover 10 things people get wrong about home solar systems and the panels that they're made of. So, the crucial thing to know about solar panels is that they make electricity from sunlight. And here is the first common misconception about them. Some people believe that solar panels don't work when it is cloudy. Not true. Solar panels work as long as there is sunlight. The more modern solar panels become, the better they perform when it is cloudy. Modern solar panels generally lose about 20 to 40 percent of their production in cloudy weather. It depends on how thick the clouds are. What solar panels really don't like is shade. Even when a small corner of a panel gets shaded, its power output drops heavily. When you have multiple panels connected, they depend on each other and the decrease in the production of one module makes others perform worse as well. So when you're picking a place for solar panels, make sure it doesn't get shaded throughout the day. Myth number two. The hotter it is, the better for solar panels. Also not true. The best weather for solar panels is cold and sunny. When panels heat up, lots of energy gets lost. In general, on a hot summer day, solar panels perform about 10% worse than normal. That's why installers try to leave a few inches between solar panels and the roof when installing them, to let the air circulate underneath. There is another type of solar panels, which is solar thermal panels. They work differently. They absorb the heat of the sun, not the photons, and use this heat to warm the water. This type does benefit from hot weather, but heating the water is all that they can do. Moving on, number three. People, for some reason, often mistake solar panels for batteries and think that a solar system stores energy. Solar panels simply produce electricity. They can't store it. When the sun shines, you get power. When it stops, you don't. However, solar panels can be connected to batteries, charge them, and then you can use electricity from them later. Unless you add batteries to a solar system, it won't make you independent from the grid. Next one, myth number four is that electricity from solar panels is ready to be used as is. Not quite. Solar panels produce direct current under the sun. Most things in our house require alternating current, though. That is why there always should be an inverter in between your appliances and solar array. Batteries store direct current as well, so solar panels don't need an inverter to charge a battery. They still need a controller, though, because the voltage of solar panels is too high for a battery. If you connect a battery to solar panels and there is no charge controller in between, the battery may overheat and explode. While we are at it, I also have to address a common belief that solar panels work when the power is out. Generally, it is not true, at least when we talk about basic grid-connected solar systems. The problem is that the inverter that solar panels are connected to serves as a grid gateway. When the grid goes down, the inverter shuts down and the solar system stops working. This is a safety measure. If the inverter was on, the current could flow into the grid. The power lines must be free of electricity so that the workers can repair them. There are hybrid inverters, though. They can be paired with batteries or have a built-in battery. When a power outage happens, the hybrid inverter disconnects from the grid and switches your house to battery support, essentially turning your solar system into a no-grid one. Moving on, myth number six, which is solar panels have constant power output. In other words, when you have a 400 watt solar panel, it must always generate 400 watts. In reality, that's never the case. 
the output of a solar panel changes throughout the day. It depends on irradiance, the angle at which the sunlight strikes, and air temperature. In fact, a solar panel rarely produces what it is meant to produce. It is called the difference between DC rating and AC production. The closest solar panel gets to their rated output is usually at noon. Usually, a solar panel produces 20-25% to less than what nameplate says. So, from a 400-watt panel, you can expect about 300 watts. It's not because it is bad, but it is just the way solar panels are made and tested. Myth number 7. Solar panels look ugly on the roof. This is, of course, an aesthetic debate, but I would say that it is not true anymore, even though they kinda used to. Ten years ago, people usually installed blue solar panels. They are called polycrystalline. They were cheaper and more popular. Those blue panels rarely looked good on a roof. Today, we mostly have black monocrystalline panels. You can check out our video on types of solar panels to learn more about them. I think they look much better and designs improve with each year. There are even special lines of solar panels that come in different colors from brands like Longi Solar and Mitrex. I haven't seen them in action yet, but they look superb. In general, the industry is moving towards customizing the look of solar panels, without hurting their production. A common belief about solar panels is that they take a long time to install. This actually depends on what you mean by installing panels and where you live. The process of mounting solar panels on the roof is actually one, two days at most for a home system. Getting equipment is also fast, especially if you order at A1 Solar Store. We process all orders in 24 business hours, ship them in 48 hours, and delivery takes just from 5 to 7 days. The longest part of getting solar is paperwork. First, you have to get permits from your electric company and city building department, and they should check the planned system design and make sure that it is safe. In places like Los Angeles, this process is streamlined and takes only a few days. But in small towns outside of California or Florida, it can be tough. Second, you have to get PTO – permission to operate from your utility. This is when an electrician comes, checks the system, makes sure it is safe for the grid, and then lets you turn it on. Sometimes a solar system gets installed quickly, but then the PTO takes several weeks. Next misconception is that solar panels damage your roof. In particular, they cause leaks. Leaks are only a result of careless installation. The way you install the panels depends on what kind of roof you have, but sometimes you don't have even have to make penetrations. When installed correctly, solar panels actually protect your roof from elements and prolong its lifespan. Finally, myth number 10, which is solar panels are too expensive. They used to be, but it is not exactly true today. At Turnhee Home Solar Systems these days, cost about ten to fifteen thousand dollars. This is a lot, but there are things to point out here. First of all, 10-15 years ago the same system would cost about thirty to forty thousand. The panels dropped in price by eighty to ninety percent since twenty ten, and they continue to get cheaper. Second, there is an investment tax credit in the United States, which lets you claim back 30% of your installation cost through taxes. So after ITS, the net cost of a PV system is seven to 10,000. I went over how to get it in one of our earlier videos. Third, the hardware costs of the system are only about 30 to 40%. The rest is installation labor and things like permits, shipping, inspections, and so on. But when you look at actual solar panels, they are cheaper than ever. In the US, one panel costs about 200 to 300 bucks, and you need about 10 to 20 of them to build a system. Plus, they pay for themselves in 6 to 8 years and last for 25 years or more. You can check out the current prices for solar equipment yourself at A1 Solar Store. Link, as usual, in the description. 
Let me know what you think about this list in the comments. Subscribe and check out our socials. I'm Tanya, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.